Well, last time we talked with Dave Lawman, we were talking about hay efficiency in cattle. And Dave, you're actually monitoring methane emissions with this machine here. We are. This is a, a green feed is the, the name of the piece of equipment that we're using here. And it monitors methane emissions, carbon dioxide emissions, and oxygen, oxygen consumption in cattle. So exactly how does, how does it work? Well, uh, it's got a little uh, feed box there at the top, and uh, you'll hear a, a beeper go off, and it drops a little bit of feed to bait the cow in, and they'll come in to consume that little bit of feed, and it's just enough to try to keep them in there for about three minutes. And then there's a sensor uh, right near the pan where she's licking the feed up, and that sensor is uh, collecting uh, gas measurements or gas sample. So Dave, we actually had you on, I think about a year and a half ago, and we were talking about misconceptions that there are with methane emissions and how cattle actually emit methane. Yeah, yeah, so you hear occasionally about uh, cow farts or flatulation. Uh, it's interesting because cattle do very little of that. 90 to 95 percent of gas eructation is from, from belching. Methane from fermentation of rumen animals is just part of a cycle. So, uh, you know, they consume plants. Uh, that's the rumen is really good at converting those plant in, plants into a human edible, high quality human edible protein product, beef. Uh, but those plants utilize sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide uh, to create that food for the rumen animal. And then the rumen animals, the rumen itself uh, goes through the fermentation process, and that's where some, a little bit, of methane is produced and belched back out into the atmosphere. So when they, when they belch the methane into the atmosphere, uh, the cycle is about the methane is in the atmosphere. Most, most of the things I've read indicate that it's in the atmosphere for a maximum of about 12 years. And then it gets oxidized, turned back into CO2, and the cycle starts over. What's cattle's overall impact in regards to methane emissions? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question. Uh, the EPA has really good information on that. And, you know, if you boil it down, basically agriculture contributes about 10% of greenhouse gas contributions here in the United States. Of that 10%, um, enteric fermentation from ruminant animals is about 25 to 28%. So let's say 28% times 10% is 2.8% of the total contribution to greenhouse gas emissions come from ruminant animals. But that's why you have, you know, equipment like this and research like this to, you know, limit that carbon footprint. Yeah, so we, you know, sent up here just a couple of weeks ago, we talked about uh, forage utilization efficiency in our study here to try to find cows that are really good at utilizing forage or maybe not using very much forage, but still being very productive. Uh, and that's, that's our goal. But we think uh, our initial uh, data says that there's quite a bit of variation in greenhouse gas emissions, methane in particular. Um, and so we think there's opportunity maybe to not only find cattle that are efficient in terms of utilizing forage, maybe not consuming a whole lot to do their job, but also maybe not uh, emitting a lot of methane. All right, thanks, Dave. If you'd like some more information on methane and feed efficiency in cattle, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.